Hi, I'm Shona Jensen, and today I'm going to give you some tips about what to pack in your carry-on tote when you're traveling on an airplane. Now, you might have a carry-on suitcase that will be separate if you want to pack, you know, a day's worth of clothes or something like that, but this is really what you're going to bring to you at your seat in the airplane. What's your go-to, what you need during the flight, things like that. So, let's get started. I'm just using a really basic tote, an average tote size, there's nothing oversized about this or undersized, and you're going to fit some of these things to what you already have or what your needs are, but gives you an idea. A regular everyday tote. So let's start with that entertainment because we're sitting on an airplane doing a whole lot of nothing for Lord knows how long, depending on how long your flight is. So we've got our tablets, iPad, tablets, whatever your cup of tea is. This is your bring all nowadays. It's awesome to travel with. You're checking your email, you're doing research at the, your destination for things that you want to do with the internet. You've got your books on here, you've got your magazines on here. It's got everything. It's got games, your social media, whatever you need. So we're tucking that into our tote. But I also add a paper magazine as well. You're probably thinking, why? You just said magazines are on a tablet. Batteries die sometimes, and every now and then you just want to flip through something that's paper. So I tuck that in as well. I just bring one. I don't bring a lot because they get heavy. And part of the stress about traveling through airports is lugging all the stuff. We want our load to be as light as possible so we're less grumpy because, you know, travel can make it kind of grumpy. Another obvious one, we're going to put our wallet into our tote. We obviously, obviously have to have our wallet. Passport, if you're traveling internationally, that goes in. I also bring a separate little wallet or separate little bag pouch and I keep the currency of the country that I'm traveling to separate. So I have my Canadian currency in my wallet and I have let's say American or my Euros in a separate wallet. Then when I get to my destination I swap out the currency and the home concert currency goes into the safe at the airport. So I just like to keep them separate. I feel like it just keeps everything straight including the coin because coin, international coin to separate can be brutal. Next I do a little pouch of all of my electronic needs. That's your chargers and that's even your earbuds. I put anything to do with electronics into a separate little pouch. These little devils, even when you ravel them up, they unravel and they get tangled in stuff in a bag and it's just generally annoying. So I like to keep them in a pouch, zip them up so they all keep together and you know where they are and you can grab them. So that goes in my tote as well. If you notice, I'm putting everything in individual totes. It's so much easier to control your stuff. And I've intentionally not matched all my little pouches because you know what color. I know the gray one's got the electronics in it. Here is a little bright red one. This one, you've got your medications that you might need on the plane or at your destination. That's not something you want to check. That's really serious. You have to have those on hand. They might be even something like motion sickness pills too. So those go into a separate little tote as well, into a pouch, excuse me, and they go in. Then you've got any of your liquids. We all know by now, if you travel at all, that everything has, anything liquid has to be in a clear plastic baggie. Canadian airports have great bags available for you, but if you want to make sure that you are prepared, don't have to deal with anything at the airport, I always grab a couple of them and I keep them on hand so I know I can pack the airport bag ahead of time. And that's your liquids, like your hand sanitizers, if you choose to bring anything to freshen up on the flight, mouthwash, something like that, uh, special soaps, face cleansers, stuff like that. They go in the tote. Now this little bag is my kind of grab all bag. So these are all the little things you don't think about but that are handy to have on the plane but also once you get to your destination. Tide stick for unexpected stains, a little pack of Kleenex, a pen, at least one pen. You have to fill out customs forms. You might just want to write, jot down some notes. If you meet someone sitting beside you on the airplane, they give you tips for where you're going. You want to write those down. Keep a pen handy. Maybe motion sickness bands. I get really bad motion sickness so these bands save my life so they go in here mints or gum I like these little breast sprays they're good for freshening up on the go that's a little Listerine guy I also bring a little fan a little travel size fan I know you're like ooh, that's so girly and posh I'm trying to be no planes can get stuffy and you need to be comfortable so when I'm landing when we're landing especially they cut the air conditioning you want to give yourself a fan I just keep it on hand I don't care if it looks silly I feel comfortable and I always bring a snack I am a hungry person and I get hangry. Oh, do I say mean things when I'm, hung when I'm hungry. So I bring like a meal bar, I bring almonds, things like that, anything that I can kind of snack on if I don't have food available. Airport food is not known to be the greatest. So keep a snack on hand and all those little catch-all things are in their own little pouch. That's kind of your go-to. Then I like this little hard pack case, but you could reuse any kind of pouch you want for this. And this is where all my jewelry goes. So. 
particularly jewelry that might have sentimental value or monetary value, of course. I pack them all in separate little pouches, and I've just put them inside this case, and that way, you know, this stuff can happen with luggage, unfortunately. I've been through it myself. That way, this is safe with you on board, and you don't have to worry about losing things that mean a lot to you. Then I throw in a scarf, because planes get really chilly. They're also good to have in your destination for evenings walking around. So I always, always, you'll never catch me without a scarf on an airplane, for sure. And then the last two obvious are your sunglasses, because you don't want to be without your eye protection. Whether you're going to a hot destination or not, when you get off that plane and you're getting in the taxi and it is bright after you've had your nap, you really want your sunglasses, so keep at least one pair in your bag. And then, of course, we all can't do without our smartphone. Last but not least, it rarely actually goes in my bag because it's almost always in my hand 24-7, but don't forget it and have a spot for it in your bag when you need your hands down. And that's it. You're ready to go on your flight. Bon voyage. For more tips, tricks, and things you need to know, head to cityline.ca.